Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy. We're going to carry on our theme of the Cobra 2020 release with the Speed Zone family. And this particular video, we're going to take a look at the new Speed Zone hybrid. So I've got a four hybrid here. I'm going to test it, I'm going to give you some ideas of what's happening in the head technology. We'll talk a little bit about that. I've got GC quad on the floor as always to measure some data. But I'm also going to put it up against the Speed Zone 5 iron. So four hybrid and a five iron. So possibly this is a thing that you might be looking at through fitting as you move from that long iron into that hybrid does this gap like we want it to we know the speed zone irons are strong in the lofts this five iron is 21 degrees of loft this four hybrid is also 21 degrees of loft so the same lofts five iron four hybrid is the gap in a bit of an issue we're going to take a look at that and also test that in this video Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the hybrid first, the technology that's happening, we'll hit some shots and then get some averages of that carry distance and then we'll also move into that five and see how that sort of gaps into the equation. So what's happening with the SZ uh, speed zone or that SZ for you UK viewers out there, I've had a few comments there pronouncing it a bit like an American, sorry, you know. So let's have a little look at what's happening in the club head. So really nice look, putting that down by the golf ball, it's, it's a slightly larger than a standard sort of hybrid appearance so there's a lot behind the golf ball there sort of quite a long sort of shaped curved back section beautiful matte finish this time so we're seeing on the drive a gloss finish obviously they do a matte in the white finish but this is the black with the yellow i don't think you can get the white in the hybrid don't quote me on that i don't think you can but this comes a lovely matte finish with that little bit of that yellow uh, trim on there looks beautiful there's no adjustability in the hosel so you can't change this loft up or down it is come, it does come as it is that loft 21 degree we've got that uh, red weighted screw which is 12 gram positioned at the back so that's pulling cg low and back again helping with stability of the head that extra sort of launch uh, in there the size of the head being a little bit bigger also helps with moi on those miss hits we've got the two rails still happening so those baffler rails they used to call them so those rails on the sole there now are still there and i think that's been a fantastic addition over the years for cobra no reason to get rid of those i don't think and you know it just it cuts through a little bit more of that turf a little bit easier difference with these rails now they're hollow instead of being solid they used to be solid they are now hollow hollow they flex more creates more speed so again it's around that speed zone name so let's get some hit first i've actually moved myself out at about 229 so it's about 230 here um again loads of loft as you look at that with it being 21 it does look like there's a lot of loft on there but a lovely matte finish it sits really nice to be fair even though it's quite a big profile it's not a sort of type of head that i would probably go for but at the same time it looks really nice behind that golf ball let's get his first one here okay just a bit toey but turning that one over a little bit but it's getting out there, isn't it? So uh, typically hybrids might see a little bit more of that left bias ball flight against an iron. We'll see. That one was a little bit. Okay, that was a solid strike. Just slightly pushed that one. Connection was good. Just coming up fractionally short there, just for that slight pushy shot, but it sounded good. Flight was really quite nice and high as you'd expect from a sort of hybrid. The better one. Yeah, really high ball like that. You'd have a bit of confidence that's got a bit of chance of stopping when it comes into that green. Bear in mind, this is, you know, it's not gonna stop like a, a short iron, is it? But, you know, in comparison to a four iron you hit, you would hit a slightly flatter flight you've got much better chance of getting this ball stopping as it comes in. So that was a better strike there, just got a little bit more carry, as you'd expect. Oh, it's just turning over a little bit there. It wasn't a bad strike, just turning a little bit. I go a little bit longer that one because of the shape of it. Yeah, there you go, just carries that a little bit longer. But quite impressed with the look of that. It does give you a little confidence behind the ball, on that larger head. Uh, I like that matte black finish. Possibly for me personally, like that little bit of adjustability, but I think maybe the golf this is aimed at, that sort of more mid to high handicap golf, I won't be possibly too worried about trying to get that loft exactly sort of dialed in, but going to be interested to see how it, how it ties into that fire iron, which we're going to hit in a minute. We'll just hit one more shot with the hybrid. 
that's a good solid strike again just leaped a little bit up that right hand side just trying to protect that left shot with the hybrid i always feel hybrids can turn over left just left that one out a little bit so dispersion rise not the best there really you know a couple little right pushy ones and that left one okay let's move into the five iron and we'll see how that gap in stacks up okay so five iron in our hands uh, just done recently done a review of the iron so we'll talk more technology in that review so i'll put a little link and you can go and check that out uh, for a little bit more in-depth review of the irons uh, but we're just going to use this more of a gap in purpose so i think a lot of you guys when you're out there and you're in that purchasing mode you're going to decide which is going to be your longest iron and that might be six iron might be a longest iron it might be five it might be four and then you're possibly going to transition into into hybrids or a rescue club so i've got the five iron here i've obviously got the four hybrid that i've just hit but both of the lofts are exactly the same at 21 degrees so you might look at that and think well that's going to go the same distance and we're, we're going to find out in a minute aren't we um, so it could be a little bit confusing maybe for the consumers and look at the lofts and think well i don't want that because that's the same loft as this um, but let's see obviously with a hybrid head against the iron head the height the speed of the ball obviously can affect that carry distance so i've left myself out the 229 yards so i would expect to see this pitch shorter now um, and run up onto that green ideally if this is starting to carry the same distance as that hybrid then there is a gap in issue isn't there so let's see if that actually sort of happens and what we maybe see differently on the actual ball flight itself so five iron 21 degrees and that's not a bad strike and to be fair that's still pretty high fraction lower maybe and there we go it lands a little bit short and runs up quite nicely actually Irons of the way forward after that shot. Um, so that was a nice opening, but and, and looks to be the gap it looks to be good from that first shot because I struck that quite nicely. Okay, good strike. Again, quite high ball flight there. Landing short and running up. So so far so good in terms of that gap. It looks to be doing a different job to that four iron, even though the lofts are the same okay we'll hit one more shot they were both really nice strikes those first two that's just a bit pulley that will go a little bit further but shorter than the pulley one i hit with the four hybrid okay Let's just go look at those numbers a little bit more detail with the hybrid and also then with that five iron. Okay, so let's have a look at some numbers. So just before I start off, I didn't change the name of the top section. So they're both called SZ5 irons. The yellow numbers there is actually the four hybrid. So apologies for that. I just didn't change the actual lettering of it. So they're the hybrids. The blue one are the actual irons I hit there at the end. So look at the hybrid first and the yellow at the top. So ball speed 140, launching at 14, three and a half area on that spin number and a carry distance of averaging at 225 okay so probably a typical i would expect to hit a four hybrid probably um looking at the iron there you can see ball speed is just that little bit less and i struck those really quite nicely so a little bit less 137.7 i actually launched a little bit higher than the hybrid which you wouldn't expect you maybe think that iron would launch a little bit lower having said that i did get a couple little bit low in the face with that hybrid so that's probably just pull that launch down a little bit there and um, so probably take those out mm, sort of similar maybe just still a little bit on the lower side with that hybrid against the iron uh, spin number a little bit more with the iron than the hybrid again you might not sort of expect to sort of see that with that cg further back in the head in the hybrid than the iron you maybe expect that to spin a little bit more didn't sort of see that um again had one that turned over a little bit left on that first one there see that's always going to pull the spin number down so again strike and my delivery is always going to change those numbers a little bit but looking as an average and the carry distance there 214 so it's it's close to that hybrid isn't it it's only 10 yards difference on that particular test there uh, but bigger drop-offs maybe on the irons from that nine yard front to back there what do we get on that um so 31 yeah so we've got about 13 yards it's a little bit tighter on that sort of hybrid in that top section so there is a difference there i'd probably like to see that a little bit of a bigger difference thinking about what you're going to see through the iron uh, gap in there but there is a difference there so i think again strikes are going to change those numbers subtly um so i think that's that's good enough reason to put possibly a, a five iron and then a four iron four hybrid in there even though they are at the same lofts 
Right, okay guys, so there we go. There's the uh, review of the new Cobra Speed Zone Hybrid and also how that possible gap into the Speed Zone irons from that four iron, uh, sorry, that five iron to that four hybrid. So there is a difference there. Again, it's always tough in that long part of the game to really get an accurate gapping because the clubs are just tougher to hit more consistent than it would be through, you know, when you're moving from your wedge to your nine iron to your eight iron, you'll be a lot more accurate on that distance gapping. Typically, as you go through your bag for a lot of amateur golfers, even me there, you know, to some expect, but to some extent, but amateur golfers, you'll see more of a spread of those and lapping over those distances. So it is a little bit tougher. Uh, but again, my story or my message to you guys is always is go and get fitted, hit that, hit the long iron if you can. I know it's not always possible to do that in a fitting environment, but try and do that if you can and see what that gap in is actually like. Okay, post comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on the new Speed Zone uh, clubs as a family, you know, the drivers, the irons, the hybrid. Uh, the fairway wood high, uh, review will hopefully be coming soon if it's not already on my channel at the moment, just a little bit delayed on Cobra getting that uh, sample to me to actually get that video out for you, but it will be coming. So stay uh, stay tuned for that one. Uh, but like I say, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. If you've watched the video, enjoying it, and you wanna share it around, sh please do so, share it around with your friends, but also subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have subscribed, thank you very much for the support, appreciate it as always, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.